GIS and find yourself wanting a more repeatable way to automate the process of managing your infrastructure? Let's talk through how you can now manage your CIS resources through Terraform. Managing cloud resources isn't super simple. It can be hard to automate the process and ensure the resource is configured correctly. And for some of you, using native tools available to manage resources, like those in CAS, isn't even an option because of your organization's requirement to use Terraform. Terraform is an open source software tool that lets you create and manage your infrastructure, such as CA service resources, through code instead of manually. This pattern is also known as infrastructure as code, IAC. This comes with a few really great benefits. Since you're not managing your infrastructure by hand, this decreases the risk of error because infrastructure changes can be reviewed similar to code. Plus, you can track infrastructure changes through version control and manage the infrastructure on multiple cloud platforms. Now you can use CAS and manage CA pools, CAs, certificate templates, and certificates via Terraform. And you don't need to do any workarounds with the API or G Cloud to activate your subordinate CAs. Just use Terraform end to end. Let's review the steps to a configuration that combines CAS and Terraform to create a CA pool with a root CA and issue a certificate from that created CA. To use Terraform with CAS, you only need a few simple commands. Before getting started, though, make sure you have the CA service admin IAM role. First, you'll need to create a Terraform configuration file. To do that, you'll create a new directory for the project to live in. In the new directory, create a main.tf file for the Terraform configuration. Copy the Terraform configuration into that main.tf file. There's documentation linked in the description that you can use to help you write the infrastructure you want. Then, you'll apply the configuration file by first initializing Terraform in the directory you save the infrastructure file in, running the configuration file with a terraform apply command, and then making sure the proposed changes look good and agreeing to run it with a yes command. Terraform will then execute this under the hood, and you can view this later in Pantheon. Once you've set this up, you can now take advantage of the benefits that come with using Terraform to automate the management of your resources. If you're using CIS and want to try managing your resources with Terraform or vice versa, check out the links in the description for more details on how to make these two products work together. If you've been enjoying using CIS and Terraform together, leave us a comment and let us know what you think. Thanks for watching.